I'm James View. And I'm Bob View. And, and together yeah. we're BNB Forge. All right, welcome back to the shop. If you wonder why I'm already hot, sweaty, and look like I'm still in the same clothes from my last video, because, well, I am. Uh, I just finished up making my new stand, and the main purpose for it is, is I've got a couple projects coming up, but mainly this next one, uh, the one I'm gonna get ready to start working on, is gonna be for a hammer drift out of a piece of one inch, 4140. So I figured I needed something a little better to actually put some of this energy that I'm putting down into the steel to move it better than what it already has been because I'm a feeling this is about to kick my honey. Uh, I'm hoping to get this done in one day. Everybody keeps saying that it's not that bad. They're not that terrible. We're about to find out. So come on with me and we'll see if we can get this booger knocked out. Catch y'all in a little bit.
well, I got that done, at least I think I did. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a look in a minute and uh, y'all tell me what y'all think. But first things first, I think I earned me a cold one. And if you wanna make fun of me, I drink in root beer, but it is beer. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, first time I've worked with 4140. Uh, that is some damn sure some hard to move stuff uh, to a point. Once I kind of got an understanding, it goes. I think my forge was a little too high. I kept shooting scale off. So I think my air mix is too hot. So I gotta figure out a good balance on that. Um, so uh, all right, it's still a little warm. Uh, a little warmer than I thought it was. All right, so. This, there she is. So, best I can tell, she should be good. I got it flared out. I've compared it to my punch. It's a little wider, a little narrower, so it should be able to help spread out the cheeks from everything that I understand. Uh, I went with a 12 inch piece, trying to keep my hand up. Uh, as much as I can away from the heat source once it starts uh, So I'm kind of excited Kind of proud of myself I'm learning. I think I'm doing better but Only time will tell uh, If you didn't see my last video Where I redid my anvil stand I can tell you this it made a world of difference on this project because if I hadn't have done that, that damn thing would have been jumping all over <clears throat> like a pair of frog legs on a hot skillet. So I'm glad I took the time it took me to do that um, and move forward on making better decisions on trying to make sure that thing is down tight so that when I'm doing my projects, I'm actually getting some effort out of my strikes versus sending my anvil bouncing like it has. So everybody who commented and told me I needed to make, change my setup, thank you. I'm a little hard headed, it takes a little bit, but I did finally get around to it. So I'm gonna say thank you. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you got any comments, questions or concerns, anything that I did that may have been unsafe, out of, <laughs> completely wrong or anything like I say I'm still learning I'm having my ball doing it but so like I said give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down leave me a comment share uh, that's all I can ask you to do is share if you think you got some buddies who might like it so, from B&B &B Forge we'll catch y'all on the next one